Hello everybody, Grace Still Blaze, we're back with more birthdays, the beginning! So, when we last left off, things were popping off all over the place, man. We got dinosaurs left and right, got a couple of river areas, we got fungus growing up over here, velociraptors running around stegosauruses. We even have a little bit of a... Look at this, we even have a little bit of like a desert-like area over here, very cool. Um, so one of the things you guys wanted to see was a freshwater body of, uh, freshwater body of water, that's gonna, a freshwater lake of sorts. Um, yeah, I think we're gonna go ahead and do that. In fact, I think I'm gonna do it right about over here. I kind of want to leave some of that desert, but I do want to make a freshwater area. So let's go ahead. Now to do this, we're gonna have to raise on up the land. Actually, I'm gonna raise up the land a little bit here. And then I think we're going to do, like, some forced evolution. Kind of see where that gets us. We're going to move all this. I want... Not that much. I want maybe four pieces of land up like this. And I'm going to have it... What I'm going to do is I'm going to start a river up here. And then it's going to drop down into a little step. Like a lagoon. And then it'll drop down into eventually just the regular, uh, the regular seas. So I think that that's a thing. Like, having, like, the brackish water and stuff like that. Is that what brackish water is? I feel like a jerk now. Um, let me see here. Let's move this up one. Actually, you know what? Hold on. We're going to go even higher up. We're going to go. Yeah, I know. We're going to go here like this. Okay. I think this is perfect. So now what we can do is we can go way up here, way up here. Where's my river? Where's my river basin thingy? There it is. The river source. That's exactly what we want. Go ahead and put a little bloop right over there. Bring my, uh, hold on now, let me bring my cursor size down to normal. There we go. Now we can go ahead. Yep, there we go. And now we can make this river cut through here like this. And in fact, if we go like this, I think we'll have like a, uh, a, little, a little freshwater lake right over here as well. Let me go ahead and make this real fast. There we go, that looks pretty cool. Now we've got a couple of pool areas over here. Let's just kind of move time along a little bit. We'll see if anything appears out of all this. I don't think I don't think anything too new will appear, but we'll find out. Now there's some more moisture up there. Some people wanted me to make like a lot more rivers, so we may go ahead and do that. Let's go check this out here, right now. Oh, and oh, oh, oh for I don't even know what that is. We'll check that out in just a second. I'm gonna let I'm gonna let evolution take its course just a little bit longer before we go check that out. Oh, we got a couple of new things. Paro Wendazella. All right, let's go check some of this stuff out. We got a couple of new things over here. We should go We should go see exactly what this is. Looks like... Where's it at? Oh, it's on this side of the map. What's going on over here? What's going on over here? It, oh, hold on. Let me, uh, let me get it so that I can actually see what the heck I'm looking at. There we go. Okay, yeah, I was way off. It's on this side of the map. Well, you know, one side, the other side. What are you going to do? It looks like it's all in the water. Oh, does that mean we have new critters in the water? Oh, I've wanted new critters in the water. What do we got over here? We have a new... Okay, it's a starfish. It's a carnivorous starfish thing. That's interesting. Uh, what else do we have? Oh, we have something over here. Look at this. Look at this right over here. In our little sea area, right by where we put our, uh, our frosty stone. I'm really glad I put that thing down. Oh, wow. It migrated to cooler temperatures on the ocean floor. All right, so we got some new plants hanging out. There's our lovely ducks. They're the star of the show. Everyone loves the ducks. Okay, I'm going to move time along a little bit more. The other thing that I want to do is eventually make more, like, um, topography. We don't have, like, a ton of topography right now. So I'm going to go ahead and let this stuff kind of move along. I think in general, I'm going to bring the temperature up a little bit more. Maybe to, like... 43 or 45 degrees Celsius because I think there's a couple of new things that we that we're gonna be looking for as well in that temperature range See right now. It's about 41 degrees. I may even make more water patchy nor what was that patchy and Norris or something Chuck Norris Where's he at hold on? There's something right over here. Ah over here by our water area. Oh cool inside of our little lake thing What is this? It looks like a mollusk Looks like another shell thing. Yep, live in fresh water. When rivers first began to form, it migrated to them from the shallows. Awesome. Okay, cool. So we're getting there. In fact, you know what? I might make... Let's make another little another little freshwater shelf over here, I think, just because we can. Let's go ahead and push this down right here. There we go. Yeah, I feel like making another one. 
right about like this. A little chunklet over here. You never know what we're going to find, man. We could get a couple of more critters still. Evolution has been working fantastically so far for us. Back over into God mode. Let us move things along and see what else is birthed from our greatness. Whoa. War, war, war filioid or some such. I don't know. Oh, oh, this is also over here in the water. Oh, oh, it's right here. Wasn't it? Wasn't it right here? It's not right here. Oh, is it down in the deep seas? We haven't had a new deep sea creature in a while. Nope, it is definitely not in the deep seas. All right. First person mode for the win. We're going to find it this way. Oh, oh, is it you? Are you the critter? No, you're not. You're not the creature. Where are you? Oh, wow. There's a lot of stuff going on in here. Man, this is freaking awesome. Our little area over here is epic. Found it. Holy crap. It is like way hidden over there. What is it? Some sort of, oh, okay. It lives, it likes to live at the bottom of the sea instead of the shallows. All right, very good. So some new stuff over in the deep seas area. Let's see, we're at 40 degrees Celsius. How do I feel about that? Oh, you know what we should do? Something I've wanted to do is kind of like have a river. See, like this thing right over here isn't a river right now. This is just shallows. Something I've wanted to do is have a river going all through here because I think maybe that would bring uh, life over this way. So hold on, let's go ahead. Let me go ahead and extend this over here, like right around like this. There we go. And now I'm gonna like move it this way and I'm gonna have the river go like all the way to the other side of the map. And we're gonna see if that creates anything new and exciting. I know you need like more and more rivers for cool things to form. So I think we're gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna have this thing. Go Look at this bird following us. Well, avian, I don't really know if you could classify that as a bird yet. All right. So we've brought this way out here. What is that? Oh, that's just plant life. We brought this way out here. Now, in order to make this river extendable, we have to lift it up and then bring it back down. There we go. Okay, and that'll bring it up. All right, so let me go ahead. Oop, we don't want to do that because that creates the shallows. There we go. I went ahead and put a river going all through here. Now it connects over to this uh, body of water over here. That's the shallows over here. Nothing too crazy. I'm going to go ahead and move time and space along and just see if anything new happens due to all of our new rivers that we've created oh yeah look at this i like to see the green arrows shooting upwards when the green arrows shoot upwards gray is happy we got more partial raptors those poor raptors like get created and die almost immediately yeah see that right there it's like they're born to die that's all that ever happens with them what i might do is bring the water down on the other side of the map just to uh, get more, um, oh, you know what else I might do? I might just make more water in general on the other side of the map. Yeah, things have, things have stayed pretty stagnant for a while. Hold on, let's go over here. I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna make, how big can I make this? Yeah, we're gonna do this. And I'm gonna make this right here. And we are going to make water. Water for days right about like that. All right 41 degrees Celsius a little bit warmer We can continue to bring that inward, but let's see what happens over here when we when we move time along All right, nothing too crazy yet Nothing too crazy yet right now. Everything's just kind of being very very average Let's go ahead and bring it down even further over here a couple of steps now and again There we go 42 degrees Celsius. Can I get it to 43? I wonder come on now. There we go 43 degrees Celsius Let's try that. Hopefully it's not hopefully it's not so hot that like things die. We'll find out here. It's getting pretty warm now, I imagine. Let's check this out over here. Some things the blue grandma is getting beat up. Oh, Leptoraptor. What the hell is that? We'll check him out in a second. We got some Leptoraptors going on right now. Pargio Raptor's back for a short time, I'm sure. He'll be dead in no time. Blue grandma's getting extinct here in a little bit. All right, let's check our new raptor out. We got a new raptor around here somewhere. I think we do. Oh, yep, over here in the desert area. Right over here. You can see him hanging around. Some sort of desert raptor, I'm guessing. It sure is. There he is, eating his haunch of meat. Gobbling that down. He's a big fan over there. Oh, yeah, there we go. Velociraptor that adopted to the very hot dry lands. 43 degrees Celsius in this area. Uh, what I think I'm going to go ahead and do. Whoa, that Tyrannosaurus was getting a little uppity over there. Did you see that? He was kind of going crazy. What I think I'm going to do is do some of that forced evolution that we were talking about. I'm very curious. I haven't messed around with it yet. We have a seed of mutation as well. Oh, you know what? Maybe we can mutate some stuff. We never mutate anything. Let's mutate some things. 
I don't know. We're gonna mute mutate you. I'm gonna mutate you. Hold on, let me go over here. What else can we do? How about how about you? I'm gonna mutate you. Because I feel like it. Who knows what we'll get? I want to mutate one of these fish as well. You, sir, get mutated. Um, got you as well. Where's our deep sea guy? We have one poor deep sea guy over here. You're getting mutated. Uh, how about some plants or something? Any of these plants get mutated? No, they just look very, very average. Okay, how about you? Oh, you can get mutated. All right. Little mutation going on over here. No big deal. How about on, uh, how about on this side over here? We got a couple, oh, how about these birds? There. All right, and you know what? What the hell? A couple of trees as well. All right, we have mutated the living crap out of everything. Let's see what happens now that we've done a bunch of mutations. Oh, I wonder what'll happen. Probably everything will be bo- Whoa, God! Okay. All right. Bunch of new things. And they all died. <laughs> So what probably happened there was they got mutated, they were not prepared to live in whatever climate we currently had, so they all immediately died. I'm, I'm guessing that's what happened there. Let me go fast forward things a little bit more here, a little bit more, and then I think we'll bump the temperature up to like 45 degrees Celsius. We'll see if we can get any last birthings of things. Did anything end up surviving from the mutation process? I don't think anything did. No, nothing did. Everything went horribly extinct. Next time, we'll have to, like, check it out right away. Let me go back over here to our water area. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, we got a bunch of water over there. Um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and push this area down, I do believe. Right over here. Yeah, this should be good. All right. 45 degrees Celsius in quite a lot of the area. Let's see what this does. This may be a little too hot or something. I really don't know. Most of these dinosaurs can live in like 60 degrees Celsius, so I think they're going to be okay. The big question is the plants. Hopefully the plants don't get all jacked up. Uh, Blue Grandma, totally shot. Blue Grandma's gone for now. Let's see what else we got going on. Yeah, the air temperature is 45 degrees right now. 45 degrees Celsius, baby. All right, while we have our temperature up like this, I'm going to see if I can, I'm going to see if I can force evolve some things. Now, we did the mutation the last time, but we did not do any of the evolutions. So, let's go check out some evolutions over here. I'm not sure what we can possibly evolve. We'll do this guy over here. We'll do the T-Rex. Who knows what will happen when you get an evolved T-Rex. I'm very curious to see, though. You, Mr. Spider, you're getting evolved for sure. I'd love to see what happens from you. Oh, an evolved duck, perhaps? Oh, that's a plant down there. Okay, well, that, that'd be fine, too, I guess. Oh, hold on. We're going to grab this. See what happens when that evolves over there. Velociraptors, how far can you actually evolve? Oh, hold on. That little guy right there, I'd like to see him evolve. That would be pretty cool. Um, Let's see. How about some of the fish that we have? What about this guy down here? Remember this guy? He's been, hang he's been hanging out by his friggin' lonesome forever down there. One, one fish. One single fish. Just hanging out. Alright, we got several evolutions going on here. Let's see what happens now. Let's go ahead and kick things off here. Moving things along. Alright, now let's go ahead and stop before everything dies. Let us stop before everything dies. Now, probably a lot of stuff is going to die. But real quick, let's go check some of these things out. We've got... Oh, right over here. What is this? What is this being... Some sort of hopping spider or something. A spider is adapted to very hot climates. Descendant. Ooh, all right. So a very hot climate style spider. So he might actually stick around. I don't think he's going to die. We've got some more stuff over here by the water. Um, I did. Yep, right in here. Look at this. It's a fish. Finally. Oh, my God. How long has it taken? Oh, wow. 22 degrees Celsius. He's going to die immediately. Oh, we leveled up. He cannot survive. It is it is far too warm for that poor guy to have any chance. Any chance at living. Now, I think that there was something else over here. I'm not sure where it is. Something. Oh, look at this. Right over here. This little guy. It's, a, it's like a better bird. Oh, yeah. Look at the heat. Look at that. Flies over the plains and cool winds blow. Yeah, he's not going to. I don't think he's going to survive. He will be, uh, he'll be going extinct quite quickly, I do believe. 
Now, who el what else do we have over here? We've got one more item kind of hanging out over here. Oh! Oh, we got a dragonfly or something. Look at this. Hell yes. Oh! We were the first to fly. The large insect evolved wings to fly. Birth temperature, 18 degrees Celsius. Man, how come 18 degrees? Uh, like, it's like, that would be like super, super cold, man. Compared to what we have going on right now, it is like, it is like epically warm in the lands that we have, that we have a doing at the moment here. I think we're going to need to, we're probably going to need to start bringing the temperature down quite a bit. Let me go back over here real quick. I'm going to move things along, but we're going to lose a ton of stuff. That's going to happen. But it's all part of the evolutionary process. Yes, they've all died horribly. All of my lovely creatures that had evolved are now dead. All right, time to start messing with some topography. We're going to have to bring the temperature down quite a bit. Oh, don't want to bring it down. I want to bring it up. Let me go do it like that. There, there we go. Just kind of start moving some stuff over here. Get some hills going on. There we go. Hills, hills for days. A couple of hills over here. Let's really jack this place up. Oh, yeah. There we go. Now we're getting some stuff. Now we're getting some stuff, baby. 44 degrees, 42 degrees. We need a lot more variation in land. That was one of the issues was we had, like, no variation in any of the land. 44 degrees Celsius. Oh, you know what we haven't used yet? We have these recovery thingies. And, like, I never use them. So, hold on. Let's go ahead and use one. There. That'll give us our full hit points back so we can just go right ahead and continue kind of moving things along. There we go. Yes. Yes. There we go. Right about there. Uh, 41 degrees Celsius now. Okay. Let's try this real, real quick. We're back down to, like, 41 degrees Celsius, but we had some mutations and stuff. We've got all kinds of new topography over there, which I'm really happy about. All right. Moving things along. Let's freaking do this. Here we go. All right, I've created all kinds of like crazy mountains and rivers and all kinds of stuff over here. You can see the plant life is starting to creep its way up here. It's kind of cool, actually. What I think I'm going to do is lower the overall temperature some more. And I think the way that we're going to do that is instead of using like um, the different the different little things, we're going to go ahead and make like more kind of areas over here where there's like all kinds of mountains in there. Have you like this? We'll do a little bit like this. So over here, it was down to 39 degrees. Okay. I want a little bit... Right about there. Okay. Let's try that. We've got all kinds of more jacked up stuff now. Looking pretty sweet. Pretty slick. Let's go ahead and move things... Oh, I don't want to do that. Let's go ahead and move things along here. we got to get some hit points back. Go ahead and regenerate our hit points. It should go down to about 39 degrees Celsius or 38 degrees Celsius. We'll see what that does for the overall... I don't know. Map. Oh, we got some conifer trees. And we have step, Steparitus? I don't know what that is. There's something up there, though. I think it's growing in all of our uh, all of our mountainous regions over there. I'm going to kind of let that go. Oh, Pargio Raptor! That poor raptor dies all the time. Like, for real. He is, he is always getting jacked. There is, like, no chance for that poor guy. All right, so some of the new stuff that we've got. It looks like it's, like, plant life for days. Oh, my God. Yeah, it's plant life, all right. Holy crap, look at this. We got some over here. Oh, wow, that lives in, like, very, very cold climates. Oh, there's our conifer tree. I could have sworn that we already discovered the conifer tree. Maybe we didn't. I don't know. But there it is. So we got that. Oh, there's something new in the water over here. Hold on. What is this? Look at this. There's something over here in the water. What is this? Is it, like, just another mollusk or something like that? It looks like it's just another mollusk or something. Yeah, it is. Brachypod. On uh, hot climates. Okay, so it replaced one of our Aurora Borealises or whatever the hell they were. And then we've got something just barely over here somewhere. I see somewhere over here there's something. Where is it? Right there. Right over there. A new plant of some sort. I don't know. It looks like a... Oh, it forms in the warm wetlands. 23 to 33 degrees Celsius. Okay. Oh, you can hear... Oh, that's cool. You can hear the water. I never really, like, got that close to, like, make sure to listen. But that's pretty cool. All right, we got some new plant life over here in our mountainous regions. You can see right over here we have some sort of new fungus. There we go. Hot, arid lands. Okay, very good. I think that we have... There's something way over here. I think it's in the water? Oh, no, it's not. It's just barely not in the water. Oh! Oh, new cool little plants over there. Getting pretty colorful up in here. Looking good, looking good. I'm very happy about this. Cool dampness. All right, excellent. Now, I think that we're going to have to go ahead 
and maybe get it just a little bit cooler outside here. Hold on now. Oh, we need more, uh, we need more, uh, more HP in order to do this. Do the full recovery leaf over here, I feel like doing. There we go. All right, let me go ahead and jack all this up over here. A little bit like this. A little bit like this. Over here. There we go. All right. So now, temperature going back down. That is an interesting structure we have created way in the distance over there. Quite interesting indeed. All right, let's find out what happens now. Now we're going down to about 35 degrees Celsius, 36 degrees Celsius or so. A couple of things are probably going to have... Wow, the conifer trees are really starting to expand. Like, really starting to expand. Holy crap. So this guy is like forever alone down here. What I think we need to do for him is get more deep sea. Like, I just... I don't think that we have enough deep sea right now for him. So that's why he's always alone. Let's go ahead and bring this down here. I'm going to make this... There we go. Bring this way down here for him. Now, that's going to increase our temperature a little bit. But I'm not super worried about it. Let's go ahead and bring that down over there. I'm going to bring another piece down there for him, too. This right over here. I'm going to bring this down as well. Going to bring this down to the deep sea. Oh, we're out, of, uh, we're out of HP real quick. All right, now that we have a lot more deep sea, let's see what happens over here. Maybe our cold colcaneuses or whatever the hell they are can flourish a little bit more. We want to get more and more of these guys. All right, we got a couple of new things over here. Things have been working out well. Ever since I made that water uh, much larger, we're getting some cool new stuff over here. What do we have now? There is... Oh, there's some new triangular-headed being over here. Some sort of... Cre oh, it's an amphibian that makes its habitat in shallow water. Oh, wow. It is, like, all about that cold water as well. And then there's something over here. Is this like a snowy Tyrannosaurus? Yes! We've got the rare snow-covered Tyrannosaurus over here. That's freaking awesome. Yeah, baby. All right, and we leveled up, too. That's pretty cool. All right, I'm going to continue to move things along a little bit here. Maybe we can get even more stuff. Tyranno... Mimis? Huh. Okay, sure. All right, hold on. We've had all kinds of new things just get birthed. I need to find out where they are. There is something going on over here. Something going on over here. Oh, our little, our little uh, amphibious guys, they've migrated to land. Ooh, that looks important. They've gone onto dry land. It is adapted to living on the coast. Okay, and there's something else over here. Oh, it's this guy. Look at this guy over here. Hanging out in the cold lands that we've made with our, uh, with our, our super cold stone over there. There he is. He's adapted to living in dry plains. Okay. Anything else weird and exciting going on? I don't think so. I think that was pretty much it. We can probably continue to move along here and see if anything else new and exciting crops up while we're kind of messing around. Man, we are getting, uh, we're getting quite a lot of creatures over here. This is pretty cool. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, things are happening. We're getting butterflies now. Ooh, butterflies. I've always wanted butterflies. Oh, we're getting a lot of stuff now. Holy crap. Oh, stuff starting to stuff starting to spread big time. Oh yeah. Okay, all right. Pause, pause. Oh, the age of, of metropolis is upon us, boys. We have we have everything happening right now. Okay, first things first. There is something afoot right here. Right there. What in the world is that? Is that a new fish or something? Who? Oh, it's some sort of creature. It's a marine reptile. Oh, awesome. Okay, cool. So we got one of those. There is something lingering over here. What? Oh, we got crocodiles, boys, or gators or some such. Look at this guy over here. That's what I'm talking about. We've got the parasuchus, a large reptile that dwells near rivers. Yeah, it certainly does. Holy crap, look at that. That is a beefy looking guy. Oh, there's more over here too. We have like a new plant. Oh, it's the butterflies. Yes, when the butterflies cometh, cool things will happen over here. Holy crap, this thing births in like very, very cold temperatures. But it can live in a lot of other temperatures, so that's good. And there's more over here as well. Man, what else am I missing? Is there like some more plant life or something like that? Oh, right over here. Got another newt or something like that on the ground. This little tiny lizard over here is hanging out. We have a small lizard that scurries through hot grasslands. Okay, so we've got that over there. There's even more over here. We've got this guy now. This looks like a, uh, 
we get a lot of like these lizard looking guys over here. Oh, it's the same uh, Dimitrodon. We've had several of him wandering around. We have that guy over there. What else do we have going on? There's something right on the coastline here. I can see it right. It's. I bet it's this guy. No, it's not this guy. Oh. Oh, it's this butterfly over here. This sweet looking butterfly. Oh, we're going to level from this for sure. We've got to. Primal butterfly that lives near rivers and wetlands. Okay. We got him. And then there's, oh my, there's more. There's more, guys. Holy crap. I think there's something way up here. Oh, there's a butterfly like way, way, way up here now. Way up here. All the way at the top of this mountainside. We have yet another butterfly. Now we're getting proto butterflies. Okay, that's pretty cool. And now there's something else over... Oh, I can't find it. There's something else over here. Where is it? Is it some... Some thing, some being... Over here. Where are you? Oh, are you inside of the river? No. Oh, it's another butterfly. Holy crap, man. Oh, no! It is a... What? Vela... Con, Vela Cura. Yeah! There we go. We just leveled up. All right. I'm going to go ahead and move things along a little bit more. Man, we've had all kinds of cool stuff happen, though. Okay, let's go ahead and move things along a little bit more just to see what else we get. The butterflies are, like, really butterflying right now. Holy crap. Marsh butterflies doing their thing. Eo raptors and diaphoms and all there have you. Wow, the butterflies are, like, going crazy. Our red ferns are going crazy, too. We're having a lot of, a lot of plant and animal growth right now. Al, what, what in the world is that? I don't know what that is. We'll check that out in just a second here. Let me, let me just continue to see, if anything, what sort of new and exciting creatures we have. Man, we have, like, a lot of butterflies now. Like, oh, we just got something else. We just got something else. I'm going to let that continue to propagate. Oh, we just got the little broadleaf tree. Broadleaf tree, we're getting trees. Is that a mouse? Oh, wow. Okay, this is going to be the last go-through. We're going to check all this out in just a second here. This will be the last go-through. I'm going to give it another couple of seconds just to see if anything random appears out of nothingness. Oh, our broadleaf trees are kind of going down. Whoa. Oh, it lived and then it died. Whatever it was. It was there for like half a second and then it completely exploded. I think we have mice though, boys. It looks definitely like we have some sort of rodents. So let's go and... All right, that's enough time. Enough time has passed. Let's go check this out. Oh, man. What a paradise, baby. Holy. Oh, yes. This is what I'm freaking talking about. All right, right over here. Well, that is a that is a really, really pretty looking butterfly over there. Um, Let's see over here. Yep, we got something right over here. Scurrying around. Some sort of Mises or something. Yep, first mammal. Yes, our first mammal. Oh, this is big. Because that is going to pave the way for more mammals. Um, we also have something over here. Something. Somewhere. Right over here somewhere. Where are you? Oh, over here. Right over here. Is this another mammal or something? We got something. Yep. A mouse that migrated from the forest to the plains. Okay, so more mice. And then there's all kinds of stuff over here. Oh, I bet these are like the cold lands mice or something. Right? Is that what these would be? Mutated that propagates tropical wetlands. Okay. Oh, and we got these trees over here as well. Got like a new style of tree or something. This is the broadleaf tree. The broadleaf tree. Oh, and it, it adapts in all kinds of... Wow. It thrives in all kinds of climates. I'm really happy that we managed to find that one over there. Uh, okay. Wow. Yeah. So... We got our first mammal. That's amazing. We've got these these giant crocodile looking things over here as well. We got everything going on right now. And the dinosaurs are still around too. Tons of freaking butterflies. Things are looking great, guys. Hope you're enjoying this episode of Birthdays to Begin. Until next time, folks. Stay foxy and much love.